I want to be a part of every outpouring of your spirit and season of restoration that takes place on this planet until you take me to heaven. I don't want to miss one. How did we get into that? Well, because I said to you, God's about to change things. And systems and ways. It's not just leaders, by the way. You got people sitting out in the pew and God starts doing new things and leaders start doing things differently. Now, I'm not talking about the innovative junk that cuts Holy Spirit out of everything. I'm talking about just the Holy Spirit starts doing things. And leaders, he gives downloads of things to leaders and they start doing things differently preaching differently, teaching differently, doing this or that. And then a bunch of old wine skins out there. So I say, well, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. Don't like that. Yeah. You know, I, and I see when God started, started teaching me on the apostolic and the prophetic and ecclesia and some of the things I'm teaching now. And I started realizing my gift mix. And I, you know, I just, I, I said, I, I just started I, I gotta be who I am. Yeah. God, you you give you give us people in this house that have pastor gifts. Yeah. They love to sit down with somebody and nurture and heal them and counsel them and love on them and shepherd them. And, and I hate doing that stuff. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be, I get to be who I am now. Amen. And I, you know, and I, so then I start having people in the congregation come to me. You know, it's because I'm teaching this stuff. It's, I'm not your pastor. I'm not, I may, I'm in that position because that's in American, what we call, America, what we call somebody that leads a congregation, the pastor. But you can call me pastor if you want. Just know that I'm not your pastor. <laughs> He's your pastor. She's your pastor. Yeah. I'm your teacher, apostle, whatever you want to call me. I don't care what you call me. Just know I'm not going to do that. Well, I want, to, I want to talk to the Pastor Dutch. Well, you're not going to talk to Pastor Dutch. Name it. With my attitude now, you don't even want to talk to Pastor Dutch. <laughs> I will fix you in two minutes. <laughs> and then I'll, then they, I'm going to go. I'm going to go find some. Go down find a real pastor. I said this several times, you know, I've been teaching and I talk about some and so and so leave. So and so didn't like it. Somebody talked to me this week, they're leaving. And I said this two or three times, and Cece just begging me after I said, Why do you have to say that? Please stop saying because they say, Don't let the door hit you on the way out. If you want to leave and go someplace else, go. I'm gonna do what God says. Come on. She just sit there and go. Sometimes God starts doing things, showing you things, and you swing the pendulum too far from wisdom. <laughs> you can become a stupid new one. <laughs> so I stopped saying that. I just said, well, we have somebody else that will love on you. But you know, God starts, doing, God starts pouring out new understanding. He's doing things differently. And People that, you know, think they wanted it. They find out their wine scan can't handle it. So they complain and they whine and they move on. They'll never mature into sonship. They'll never, they'll never really be used by God. My, I shouldn't even say this. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it, I'm not gonna say it. No, I'm not gonna say it. Be quiet, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Wisdom, thank you, it's wisdom. Not gonna do it.
But every believer, every believer, if, if you'll make the right choices, that you walk in enough humility to realize you don't know it all. You don't have it all figured out. If you just walk in humility and you'll stay hungry, every believer can be a fresh, new wineskin and be a part of every outpouring, every phase, everything Holy Spirit wants to do is he takes us from glory to glory, strength to strength, faith to faith, brighter and brighter. It, you can be a part of all of that if you want to. A lot of people don't know that when he, when Jesus taught on the new wineskin, Matthew 9, he, he said, King James uses the word new twice. New wines to be put in new skin, new, new bottles, King James says. It's a skin. So some translations change it from new wine has to be put into fresh wine skins. And the reason they do that is because the two words for new in that passage are different. New wines to be put in a new skin Completely different words. It's naos wine is to be put in a kainos skin, Greek. And naos means more, new in the sense of another, but not different in kind and quality. So it's like if you have a, if you, a new car rolls off the assembly line, and here's a new one, and then here comes another new one. It's, it's new and it's new, but it's not different. It's the same car. So the wine is Holy Spirit. See? And he's, he doesn't change. So he's saying it's not the wine that's changed. He you know, does different, you know, different manifestations. He's doing different things with it. But it's the same God, same Holy Spirit pouring himself into us. But he said it has to be put in a kind of skin, which means new in kind and quality. So he said, I'm not going to change who you are. Did you get that? You old people out there, did you get that? So, so when these kids start coming and messing with our comfort zones, That's when you really need to remember it. 